Q1 was very somehow. I mean, I got into January all pumped up. I still am, but life happened as usual. Imagine you have white rice and then you're believing God for stew and chicken. And then the next thing, your entire plate gets taken away from you. <laughs> That's how I can describe what happened to me. Small setback, but then I was incredibly proud of myself and how I handled this situation. I laughed. I thank God. I went about my business on shaking. An older version of me would have cried a lot and thrown down drums, but I was so chill. I can't take credit for it, Sha. The Holy Spirit indeed helps me because I felt an overwhelming peace and assurance that I'll recover my loss in multiple fold. But the beautiful thing is that in this same Q1, I also got answers to two major things I have been praying for. I was starting a business out of the blues after being so afraid. The what if nobody buys my stuff thoughts ended up with me getting inquiries from all over the world and one of my products is currently in the UK. Can you imagine? In this life, you always face highs and lows simultaneously. Sometimes the depths of the lows might be greater than the heights of the highs. But I've learned that to truly enjoy life is to embrace every aspect of it. And it pays to be a believer. I have a solid advantage in Christ Jesus. I'm happy that I was able to focus on my wins and be very intentional about gratitude. I'm super excited for Q2 and I can't wait to come back and share my testimony of how I got my rice and stew and chicken. With salad, plantain, moi moi and a photo to pick from. <laughs>